Hey guys, Nate Rose, former U.S. Marine, six-time natural bodybuilding champion, and pro sports model. And today we're going to talk about the three critical steps that you absolutely need to take in order to get ripped. All right, I'm going to try to provide a tremendous amount of value to you. Please share this information. It's just uh, from me to you. I hope these three things help you start to achieve the body of your dreams. Okay, so let's just kick it right off. First and foremost, the absolute number one thing that you need to do in order to get ripped is you have to incorporate consistent resistance training. Okay, yeah, I said it. Whether you like it or not, you absolutely have got to do some form of resistance training because in order to get ripped, what you really want to do is you want to reshape your body. And unfortunately, if you're only doing cardiovascular activity, What's going to happen is, is whatever shape you currently have in your body, you're just going to be a smaller shape of whatever that is. So if your body's a pear shape, you're just going to be a smaller pear. If you're an apple shape, it's going to be a smaller apple. You get the picture, right? In order to reshape our body and to change it in a dramatic way fast, we have to incorporate resistance training because that's going to reshape and build lean muscle tissue. On top of that, the other great thing and amazing thing that happens when we do a resistance training workout is a thing called EPOC. Okay, it's excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Okay, I know that's a big mouthful, but bottom line, what it really is, it's basically the afterburn effect of what happens in your body post-exercise. But the higher intensity, the more EPOC happens so when you do resistance training your body has to work extra hard to try to get it back to where it was pre-exercise and that's why your body is trying to replenish the energy and the muscle storages with glycogen and energy to keep moving and keep going forward after its exercise to get to that balance again and what science has shown us without getting too geeky in regards to the reason why it is all you need to know is is after you do resistance training exercise your body's continuing to burn calories for 24 up to 48 hours after completion which is tremendous and again like i said the higher intensity of your workout in your resistance training the more epoch or the more afterburn effect you're going to get moving forward. Okay, so that's step number one. You've got to incorporate resistance training. So if you're just doing cardio and you want to get ripped, I highly recommend that you incorporate a specific resistance training workout routine. And yes, if you follow a specific format, which gives your muscles the proper days in between of when you're hitting that muscle and rest in order to grow and change and adapt, you're going to get better results, right? So critical step number two, you guys are not going to like this one, but it is an absolute essential. You have got to consistently plan nutritious, healthy meals. Okay. And I did say consistently and plan what I have found in my 20 year career of health and fitness and personal training and all of the people I've trained at in the years, including myself in doing my many different bodybuilding champions or competitions throughout the years. And I take five years off and then throw my hat back in a ring and compete again. And every year I figure out and understand that if you really want to truly lose weight, change your body and get ripped, you've got to plan your nutrition and your meals moving forward throughout the day. You don't want to go through the day not knowing what your next meal is going to be or where it's coming from. So planning out and consistently planning out healthy, balanced nutrition meals that you're going to eat every three to four hours is going to get you 10 times better results. And I hate to say it, the time that you eat is just as important as what you eat, especially when it comes to resistance training. I'm not going to go too deep into that. I'm just going to say this. You've got to plan consistent, healthy, nutrition, balanced meals that are, are in higher protein content. 
Protein should be the majority of the calories that you are consuming. Okay, there's a lot more science into that, but I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to give you the three critical steps. The first two, incorporate consistent resistance training. The second one, you've got to consistently plan out healthy, nutritious, balanced meals. Okay, and that could incorporate protein shakes and supplements. So step number three, absolute critical step. And I have seen this one impact more people, more clients, including myself, than anything else. Absolutely. Number three, you have got to drink one gallon or more of water. And that doesn't incorporate and cannot include coffee. You can't include the water from your protein shakes or your tea or your juices or whatever it is that you're adding into your water, okay, to make it taste good. You've got to drink a gallon or more of water. Now, you should be drinking a gallon of water anyway just throughout the day on a normal basis. But if you are doing resistance training and you really want to get ripped fast, you've got to drink a gallon or more of water on a consistent basis. Measure it. I'm telling you, if you've only been doing, let's say, a half gallon or three quarters of a gallon of water a day, measure it. Get a whole gallon jug. Drink the whole thing. Within a week, I guarantee you're going to see huge, tremendous results, not only in your performance and your recovery, And you're going to sleep better. And your complexion is going to be cleaner. You're going to have more energy, clarity, and focus to get through the day because your body is properly hydrated. All right? So just to summarize really quick, number one, you have to do and consistently do resistance training, okay, with weights, hopefully, typically, or using your body weight, okay, not just cardio. Number two, plan consistent, healthy, nutritious meals. And if you don't know what that is, I do have a guide that can give you more information on that. Number three, drink a gallon of water a day or more. If you're already drinking a gallon of water, great. But make sure it's daily, even on your off days and your rest days. By drinking that gallon of water a day is going to do tremendous things for your body, for your mental clarity, for your rest, and your recovery. Right? Again, this is Nate Rose. I hope you got a lot of value Uh, from this video. I'm going to be sharing a whole lot of information. I can't wait to see your results moving forward. Again, this is Nate Rose. Have a great day, guys.